The vlog is back after a national team break. It is Thursday today. Whitney and Fox just went back to Minnesota for, for just a quick week and a half. Whitney has a bunch of stuff to do. I think they have Thanksgiving stuff going on. And part of the reason she's going back is she's got a bunch of collabs. She's absolutely killing it on Instagram and TikTok. So I'll make sure to check that out. And we are back to playing hockey on Saturday uh, for our alumni is coming to town. So uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a break. And since I'll be home alone, week and a half, I got FIFA 23 downloading here. 8% just started this morning. Hopefully. It'll be done by the time I get home from practice. And it's also the first snow in Sweden. Back home now, I've uh, been a long day with the 6.30 a.m. alarm taking the girls to the train. But FIFA still got two hours left, so it's been downloading the whole day. Uh, that's, that's the Swedish Wi-Fi for you. Since the girls are gone, it's just me and Piggy, our Australian Shepherd here. But as a pro athlete, the work doesn't stop when I get home. I'm gonna do the vision training on Visual Edge. I'm gonna redo the evaluation. It's been a while. I don't even know when the last time I did it. 179 days ago. And as a goalie, your eyes are so important. And that's why vision training is like one of the biggest things for me I can do to, to prepare for games, to get better. If you wanna get started on this program, it's super easy on Visual Edge. There's a link below, it's got a good deal. So get started now. Evaluation is now down, 91.6. I'm up by two, so the hard work is, is paying off. It measures six different things, so you can also see here what, what you need to work on, what percentile you're in in different things. Divergence, I'm 76th percentile, so that's something I can go to the open gym and work on divergence to get that better. But all in all, I try to do this probably two, three times a week, depends on the game schedule. I think I started with like a 76 edge score and now I'm all the way up to almost 92 so this thing is definitely helpful um I got a special caller here today hey everybody <laughs> just uh just hit on my buddy Cass to talk about the panda and the reverse and all that good stuff you know just trying to stay on top of beer league he's the best goal in beer league self-proclaimed but uh yeah we're just working on a quick quick panda video here helping him out so uh he gave me a call and that's that's what's up check out kvg's channel right Game Band Gate 
Nope. Okay, listen up. This is gonna be very important if you're an athlete, young athlete, or a human being in general, which most likely you are. And I'll try to get through this as painless as possible, but it is game day against Frolunda. Back after the break, I'm not starting today. And that's kind of been the hardest part for me this season, not playing, like going from last season, having some NHL interest and in talking to a scout about possibly going over to moving into this year and not not playing as much as I, I, I was expecting. and. Uh, it's it's not about that I've played bad. I think I've played I think I played well and this week of practice has been the best I've had I feel like since I've been in Lexington. I've only started four games and obviously I can't change the way a coach is feeling. I can only focus on myself and uh, I feel like the games that I've had have been very difficult and um, obviously the numbers aren't where I would want them to be stats wise but it's, like I said only four games and uh, that's a, such a small sample size. Like I could probably, every year pro, my first four games have kind of <laughs> been been something where I've struggled. So uh, I'm not worried about that at all, but I just, you know, mentally I just want to play. But this first part of the season has definitely been a, a blessing in disguise in a way. Um, obviously not happy that not playing that much, but that's kind of helped me to grow as a, as a person and as a as an athlete in a way where I was able to just kind of deal with some of those so those things mentally and I think the big thing for me is just you know dial the focus into myself and see the whole situation in a, in a different light and there's definitely been some some learning lessons from from this first couple months that uh, I'm gonna keep with me for the rest of my career that are gonna definitely help me so uh, in that way, I'm grateful and I feel like the goalie I am today is better than I was two months ago because of all this. Goaltending is all mental. There's all pro goalies in the world can probably skate just as good as I can and move just as fast, but it's all about what's up here that uh, makes the difference for the guys who are top. I'm almost done reading a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And that thing is a must read for, for you. I'm gonna link it below as well so you can get your copy, but it's just about, not even athletes, but just human beings, kind of how we live our lives and uh, get, get good habits versus bad habits. And I think the thing mostly for me mentally got me in trouble because I've always been um, like, had a goal and a dream of like, okay, I'm gonna go to the NHL and come in here in Sweden and play and like, I wanna, I want to get back to the NHL and uh, then when you're not playing in Sweden every day feels like you're this much further away or every puck goes in the net in games like it's like oh that's you're like that much further away from your your goals and your dreams and then that can really get a heavy toll on you and if, if you're a young hockey player and even all the way up to every guy in the American League everybody's goal is to play in the NHL right uh, so it's not the goal that separates you from everybody else like oh as long as your goal is to play in the NHL you'll probably make it like that's that's not the case um, so I'm not saying that you shouldn't have goals and, and dreams but those should feed your daily habits and those daily habits is the th things that are are gonna get you to the next level. So the less I started thinking about like, oh, I have to go to the NHL, I have to do all these things, like I have to play well to get to the NHL. If I'm not in the NHL, I'm gonna be miserable. So that's not a very good mindset to have that, oh, like once I get to the NHL, like life will be great. Like that's, like when you're not in the NHL, like are you gonna be moping around? Like that's, it's just not where you wanna be. And like I said, every game, every, every shot even at practice is like 
okay, so here I'm judging myself again, like one step closer, one step further, like it's, it's just a tough place to be at. So I think the, the lesson from me to you guys is that definitely have a goal. If you're a hockey player, keep the goal, playing in the NHL, winning the Stanley Cup, but build your habits from that. Like let your dreams and your goals um, like drive your daily habits. And when you are building new habits and good habits, make sure to make them easy. This is all gonna be in the book, so I'm not gonna try to do too much, so that's why I suggest you guys read in the book, but make your habits easy. So if you wanna stretch every night, have your yoga mat close, and then maybe when you're done, write something on your, on your calendar, like fill a box, like just so you get a sense of accomplishment. And if your bad habit is eating candy or snacking every night, then don't buy it or make it harder. And because in the moment, it's super hard to make those decisions. But when you, once you have a habit and those routines and rituals in place that you can fall back on and easy, good habits that you get rewarded from, then you slowly start to build that. So whether it's me going to the rink and starting my day off, like walking straight to the bikes, getting a good warm up in, and then grabbing my PTP stuff and doing a hip workout, mobility, um, that's, a, that's a good habit. I wanna make that easy. I wanna have those bands ready to go right away. And over time, that's like I've talked before, those 1% gains, it's gonna slowly, slowly take you to that overnight success. It takes dedication and a lot of good habits to uh, make sure you're getting 1% better every day. Imagine you put all that work in every day to get 1% better in six months or in a year. I know it's gonna be further down the line, but your development curve, I hope I'm going the right way here, but is gonna shoot up. So I really hope you got something out of this. Please send questions in the comments because I know this is very tough to try to explain it like this when I'm not, not really an expert, but I'm just trying to give you my thoughts and my, my feelings about this. Yeah, the most important thing is just to stay in the present. Only control what you can control and focus on yourself and because everything in the future is, hasn't happened yet everything in the past is already done with can't change it so um yeah for me the big thing right now is to focus on being in the present and and with my daily habits every moment everything i do i'm going to keep in mind that i'm going to try to try to get that one percent and maybe maybe for you young goalies it'd be like what would vasilevsky do if you're at the grocery store or if you're at the gym like just Stuff like that, but lecture is over. <laughs>